In this video, I'm going to show you the three most important things you need to focus on when performing any kind of squat. This goes for the front squat, the back squat, the overhead squat, the body weight squat, and any other variation you do in the gym. The first, and in my opinion, the most important aspect of the squat is the balance and pressure in your foot. We want to think about our feet the same way we think about our hands. You wouldn't push a door open with just your fingertips or with the heel of your hand. You push full hand. So we want to think about the same thing with our feet. A lot of times people take their stance and then they just kind of rock their weight back into their heels and then drop the hips down and stand back up. What I like to see is actively pushing down into the ground with your full foot, feeling that big toe planted and even balanced across the foot, all the way down and all the way up through the squat. The second thing that I look for in any variation of the squat would be coordination between the hips and the knees. So we want to see the hip and the knee joint bend simultaneously through the whole way down and the whole way up. If you find that at any point in the squat, your hips are bending quicker than your knees are, or your knees are bending quicker than your hips are, then we're gonna have issues with the ankle and the back and the way that the movement happens. So we always wanna think about trying to bend all the way down at the knees and the hips through the entire range of motion and standing and opening at the knees and the hips. If I stand and I open my knee faster than my hips, then my butt shoots back. I'm opening my hips faster than my knees, then I kind of get my toes and get this open chest squat, which we don't want either. So simultaneously bending at the knees and the hips will help kind of fix a lot of the other issues that would come from a squat. The last thing that you want to focus on with any type of squat is the range of motion. Ideally, we want you to squat as deep and as tall as you can through as full of a range of motion as you have while maintaining the first two points. So if I get to here and I can maintain balance in my foot and I can maintain bending in my knees and my hips simultaneously, then I'm good and I can continue to descend. If at any point I have to start to shift my weight back and get into the heels, or I have to go into my toes to sit deeper, it's not valuable for us to have that range of motion. So we always wanna work and train in a range of motion where we can find a solid position. And then over time and working mobility outside of the lifting, we wanna try and work until we can get our hip all the way below the top of the knee and maintain balance across the foot and coordination through the joints. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment if you have any questions about anything I went over. Check out one of these other videos that I made and I'll see you in the next one.